so this time, this video is basically going to be solely um, focused on the unpackaging of the X set and kind of showing you guys all the different boxes that come with it. Uh, showing you the frame, what we got there, and just kind of just an overview of what you get when you get your kit. Uh, you're to deliver to your house or go pick it up. So um, I'm going to go through kind of step by step how I'm unboxing it and what's in each box. I may not open up every single box, but just give you guys an idea of what the kit looks like, what's inside, how everything's positioned, and, and uh, what all you get. So let's get to it. Part here is I'm going to be opening the dash pod or gauge pod. Uh, box now there's in my particular kit. I had the sport kit um, Along with the body panels a lot of guys. I know don't order the body panels. I just uh, I like I like the look of the front ones um, But basically there is this box as well as your hood nose cone box and the fuel tank cover box so um, the color that I chose and they're all uh, painted from or I shouldn't say painted gel coated uh, from Exocet. Um, not 100% sure why they're gel coated and not a base coat clear coat. Um, I'm sure it's a little easier. I'm not a huge fan of gel coat and I'm half planning in the future on actually uh, wrapping these in carbon fiber and doing a carbon fiber look body work. But um, I like the blue color so for now I'm not going to take these out of the actual wrapping. Well this one maybe I will. I'll lie to you here. Let me See about getting this. Um, so there, so you guys can see there, that's basically um, the color of the kit there, the ultramarine blue. Um, matches fairly close to my powder coat color, not exact, but pretty darn close. So this is the uh, gauge pod. I have no clue which way it goes. I'm going to guess like that direction. Maybe that direction, I don't know. So that's the uh, first, the smallest of the bodywork boxes that come with the kit. So for now, I'm just gonna kind of put everything loosely back in its uh, back its protective wrap, and I'm actually gonna be taking these, these uh, body panel pieces back to my shop at work. Uh, as one, I'm not going to need them during the build, but two, I want to um, uh, make sure they're protected. Um, don't get scratched up and banged up here in my garage. Next part of the bodywork box is the fuel tank cover. This uh, this was the one piece that nearly made me not order the body kit because it's just absolutely horrendously ugly in my opinion. But um, I just really don't like the way it looks. But the only thing that convinced me to get this was I dislike the way the fuel tank, the Miata fuel tank, looks even more. Sorry about the shaking this here. I'm trying to do this with uh, one hand on the camera. Okay, let me be smart now and I'll mount the camera up so I'm not driving you guys crazy here. So this is the box with the fuel tank cover. Um, it's kind of nice, you know, at the expense of space, they did leave, and Kevin at Eximotive had told me this, you know, they leave plenty of uh, room in the box just for, you know, kind of negative air space for, uh, in case things get bumped or hit, it's not completely tightly packaged. So, here you go, here's your fuel tank cover. That's in this uh, big, humongous box. I'm going to go ahead and once again just uh, package this all back up. Just wanted to take a quick peek at it. Part here is I'm basically going to get the heat shrink wrap off the, uh, the chassis here and uh, see what all the boxes inside are. Uh, it's wrapped really, really nice. It's got a, I believe it was a 7 mil uh, heat shrink wrap around it. So it's, it's pretty cool looking. Keeps it from getting exposed to the weather. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, slip this puppy down the middle.
the frame basically completely unwrapped now. Uh, one thing I found, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the, the heat shrink wrap that goes around, it's uh, nailed in the bottom of the packaging here. What I found was easiest is once I had it all split and uncovered, I just went through and took a knife and cut it all around and away from the perimeter, shut it off in the back of the garage, just so it's a little easier to walk around the car. So now I'm going to dive into what you actually get um, as far as the boxes inside your kit. Basically in the in the engine bay area of the car, you can see here there's a few boxes, some, some brake lines. And then in the, the back of the car here, there's a few more boxes as well. So I'll dive into uh, what those all are. There's your floor panels, there's your acrylic lower side panels. And uh, start unbox these, unboxing these and see what's in them. Okay, so first thing here is the Xset shock spacers. Uh, these are an option. I think they're around $100, $150. Uh, they say they're an option, but from everything I've heard, um, <clears throat> they're a near necessity when building this car. So uh, basically these uh, will mount up. Um, I don't know how well you can see them in that plastic there, but um, I got the unpowder coated ones since I'm going to have all the powder coating done myself. Holy cow, there's a lot of plastic wrap on those puppies. So basically, these are what you get. Um, these are not something you can easily fabricate and make on your own. As you can see, they're quite a complex piece. They are at an angle as well, too. Um, these basically bolt, I believe, below the... Lower above, but I believe it's below the uh, shock tower braces over here uh, to give extra height for the frame. So basically this includes four of those as well as all the mounting hardware. And one thing I'm, I will point out on the kit here is everything is actually, uh, you know, packaged and marked quite well. Um, letting you know exactly, you know, the customer names on the side as well as letting you know what is in each box. Okay, next item here. This is, out. is the wiring tray, X Motive wiring tray. This uh, is another option, I believe it's around $150. Basically, this sits, um, I'll pick up the camera here in a second, show you right where it sits, but it's an aluminum wiring tray uh, for all of your electronics, ECU, everything like that, relays, stuff to sit in, and it's located basically right behind the uh, engine bay, between the engine bay and the cabin on the car. I don't know if you call it the cabin, the seating area. So I'm not going to go through a five minute unwrapping of this one too, but basically it's just this tray here, and this tray sits, pick up the camera here and turn it sits right here inside there and under this cover you can mount all of your electronics. Okay, turn the camera back here for you guys and now we have a Simulative brake line kit. So a uh, conifer brake line that you can bend yourself if you choose that instead of flexible lines. And let's see what this guy is here. bulkhead panels. So these would be the panels, uh, I guess you would say your firewall panels, which are between the engine bay and your feet. Those also, move the camera up here for you guys. These also come wrapped very nicely. These four panels here inside the plastic wrap. These will mount uh, between the engine and the passenger compartment. As I'm moving back toward the rear of the car to those boxes, I'll point out these uh, acrylic panels. Uh, these panels 
basically uh, go along the underside, lower half of the side of the car there, and you can put decals on them, vinyl wrap them, whatever you want to do. Then um, these two panels here that run the length of the floor, those are the floor panels for underneath the frame. Back to the car here, um, there's a few boxes back here. Uh, get it cut open. First thing I'll open here is X set rear wing mounts. These are another option that I purchased. If you can see in the camera right here, these are welded on mounts, uh, drilled out for these wing mounts. I, I would suggest, and this is a suggestion from Kevin at Motive, and I've seen a lot of other guys say it too. At first, I was not planning on running a rear wing for the car, but um, before I powder coated it, I needed to, uh, you know, these mounts need to be welded in, and I hated the idea of, um, powder coating it and then eventually deciding God oh, it'd be nice to have a wing and not being able to mount it. So I went ahead and paid the I think it's a hundred hundred to hundred and fifty dollars for the wing mounts. And basically these there's one for each side mount like this or like that one way uh, so you can mount the rear airfoil there on the car. So I went ahead and uh, uh, went ahead and went with those just so if I do want to use them in the future, and now that the kit's here, this, this decision was made two to three, whoops, two three months ago, better not set that on that. Um, now that I, uh, I've gotten closer to the car being here, I decided um, that I am going to go with the rear wing at this point. So um, another thing you gotta choose when you're building the kit, I think it's a smart idea to get that. Uh, big box here is Accept Transmission Cover. Oh, pretty obvious. Um, basically, right there. Uh, that's a removable cover. Um, if you rev nut it, that you can install it there. And then, if you want to remove that panel um, at any time, um, which might make it a little easier for access to certain things like shifter rebuilds and um, things like that. So, uh, anyways, uh, that that piece goes there. I'm probably not going to. Um, well, what the heck? Why don't we unbox it? It's a fairly large piece, but I would like to see what it looks like. We're going to have a lot of cardboard and styrofoam to recycle here in the next few days. But basically, that's it aluminum sheet metal piece for your trans cover. Once again, this, like everything else, has been packaged uh, very, very nicely. Um, a lot of protection in mind when they box this up. Most everything I see here looks like brand new boxes that they have sized up specifically for each part, not just, uh, you know, a lot of places you get stuff from, it's a box that's been used 10 times and half crushed. and. Um, you know, they're just kind of trying to recycle it instead of actually give you a new box. This looks like they ordered most every box for each particular piece of the car. And then packaged it accordingly. So, um, sorry guys, I wish there wasn't so much pausing in this video, but it's kind of, um, hard to move around in here. A few too many boxes and things in the garage right now. This next box here, there's two, two of these boxes. Uh, left in the rear. This is the Xmotive Xset Sport Hardware Pack. So basically, this is see so here's some edge banding, which is nice for some edge of some of the pieces. Uh, let's see what else here. Also, several bags of rivets. Um, I will not be using these because I'm going to be using riv nuts um, so that the panels are removable. Bolts screws, hardware, things like that, your mounting bolts, everything like that. And then they have a nice um, description here of 6 30 millimeter 10.9 hardness M12 bolts. So um, quite a bit of stuff in here labeled side panel hardware, uh, rear subframe hardware, uh, pretty nice labeling there, and also a uh, packing list, as you can see here with 
everything that's included in that box. So once again, I got to give them props for the packaging looks looks really quite nice. Um, everything's boxed up very good. Okay, last box with the kit. X set mounts pack. Is that the same thing? No sport hardware. I don't know what this is, but I um, guess I'm going to find out. Huh. Let's see here. Okay, this is uh, front body work mounts. Okay, radiator mounts, rear body work mounts. Uh, body work and radiator rivets, cowl hardware for mounting the cowls, and then rear wing hardware. Okay, very nice. The okay, last part here is this nice, big, huge, enormous box. This is the front nose slash hood of the car. Obviously, it goes on the front of the vehicle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this unboxed. I'm not going to take a video of it because it's probably going to be near impossible to see. But um, I'll get it unwrapped and set it on the car so you guys can just get an idea of what it is what it looks like sitting on the front of the car. And last part of the video here is basically, this is the hood uh, nose cone area mounted on the car. Uh, I just wanted to get it on there real quick and see, I saved all the packaging and everything so that I can go over it again later, but um, pretty nice looking on there. I like the blue, I'm real happy with the, the blue I chose. I've always wanted a blue car, just never been able to have one till now. I don't know why, just that's how it goes sometimes. But, um, yeah, I think, I think this panel here is the one that I like the most. I think it goes the best with the car. Um, uh, I mean, the, the shape of it. I think it goes with the car better than the other body pieces. Um, the gauge pod looks all right. But the rear the rear tank, I think, is just, just hideous. Um, but it does look better than the gas tank. I'll give it that. So, anyways, uh, that's the end of this video. Just want to give you guys a video on basically unwrapping every box and every component out of the uh, X-Set kit. And uh, just so you guys get kind of a better idea of what's in there and what you get uh, for your, you know, eight nine thousand dollars. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you like my stuff, please subscribe down below and hit the like button. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.